necessity and operating principle of solid state relays. So to explain the solid state relay against the electromechanical relays or contactors, we need to understand working of the electromechanical relays. Electromechanical relays works on various moving parts to connect or disconnect the load from controllers which induce a noise while switching on or off with the load and eventually cause the disturbance in signal and accuracies. Also it generates heat in the control panels and enclosure resulting in signal disruption. While solid state relays does not poses any moving parts like electromechanical relays, solid state relay works on power control components like diodes, transistors, thyristors, triac. These control devices can conduct voltage when particular gate supply is given to the products as per the specified input type. SSR can control loads like valves, ovens, heat tracing, heaters, and alarms. High loads form 5 ampere to 125 ampere according to the variance. Solid state relay provide the switching of loads with respect to the controlled input received from the controllers like PLCs, VFDs, or PID temperature controllers. Here, we have DC input, AC output solid state relay, which have 4 to 32 watt DC input. And, 48 to 480 watt AC output with 25 ampere load current. Here, we are using heat tracing of 600 watt and 230 watt AC supply as a load for heating the water tank. Inputs from PLC controller is given to solid state relays 3 and 4 terminals. User can use PID500U for the controlling of the temperature of the water tank. On terminal 2, 230 volt AC from line is connected, and load is connected on terminal 1 of the SSR. Neutral is connected directly to the load. The connections is made such that, when required, the SSR can disconnect the load from the line. When the PLC provides signal of 24 volts DC to the SSR, SSR input LED glows and subsequently the switch gets closed between terminal 1 and 2 so that the load get connected with the line and starts heating the water tank until the required temperature is reached. We can check the continuity of the output contact of the SSR by using multimeter. When any DC voltage supply between 4 to 32 volt DC is given to the input terminals of SSR, the output contact get closed and continuity can be checked. We will hear a sound from the multimeter as an acknowledgement. There are two types of single phase SSR. Random crossing SSR and zero crossing SSR. We will see how zero cross switching solid state relays works. Every sine wave has positive and negative amplitude and it continuously shift from positive to negative by crossing the zero. Zero crossing switching principle is such that whenever the input voltage given to the SSR, the SSR will conduct the output only after the first zero crossing of the voltage. Here is the one-on-one -on -one working demonstration between zero cross switching and random cross switching. In random turn on switching, after receiving DC input, solid state relay will switch the supply on immediately on the some phase angle. While in zero crossing, solid state relay will switch the load on only after first zero crossing of the signal. Introducing to new switching range of solid state relay. Select has different ranges with different current output ratings. With compact size of 57.5 mm as height and 44.5 mm as width. Select make SSR providing more flexibility in terms of space. 
It has 4 to 32 DC voltage input with 24 to 330 AC voltage control output. We have 25 ampere product as well as 40 ampere product in this series. We also have ranges with output voltage from 48 AC voltage to 480 AC voltage for resistive load. ZPL series denotes that these solid state relays can be operated along with full resistive as well as inductive load. ZPL product can avail control output from 48 AC voltage to 480 AC voltage and from 4 DC voltage to 32 DC voltage input. SCR control solid state relay with DC input from 4 DC voltage to 32 DC voltage and from 48 AC voltage to 480 AC output voltage. Select has different ranges with different current output ratings.